Good morning and welcome to an important day for Kaluna Vineyards. We are going to bottle our 2020 Kaluna Estate Blanc today. So I'm going to take you through the process of mobile bottling, something that's done more and more these days by uh, larger and larger wineries who decide that it's better to work with a mobile bottling truck and run a bottling line on its own. But let me take you through the process today. The mobile bottling line is housed in something that's well bigger than a large moving van. And a truck parks this right in front of your winery. And the idea in its simplest form is that you go to your tank where your wine is, 656 gallons of Kaluna State Bonk. You run the line from your tank to the truck and you turn it on and off you go. But let's take a look inside the truck. So on the front end, here's a guy who's taking the cases of empty glass, putting it on the front end, and notice what he's doing with the cardboard box. We'll come back to that. The glass first gets sparged with nitrogen to put a little inert gas in there and perhaps knock out if there were, were any cardboard dust in there. The bottles are filled up, then the corks are pounded in, then the capsules are put on the top. We'll see that momentarily. The capsules are first dropped on, and then they're tapped down, so they're on firmly, but then they go through a spinner, which spins down the capsule. That's what really makes it tightly attached to the bottle. Now we're going to put the label on, and this is a kind of a cool thing. You see the big sp spool of label on the left, but the bottles go by and are spun around, and I don't even totally understand how this works because somehow each bottle perfectly has the front and back label put on where it belongs. They come spinning through, and the march continues. When the bottling line's running well, it can do 250 to 300 cases per hour. So here we are at the end, and there it is. The guy who had the empty glass bottles puts that cardboard box back up at the end of the line, and the full bottles are now packed into those cases. The case is sealed, and a label is put on the outside. They're now stacked on pallets, Here's Max wrapping a pallet. Our pallets are stacked 14 to a row, so 56 cases total on a full pallet. Here is the last pallet, which was a partial. We did 269 cases today. Max stacks it up and it'll be off to the warehouse for shipping out to our customers. Well, good afternoon. We had a successful bottling today and the 2020 Kaluna Estate Blanc is safely in the bottle. But let's talk a little bit more about bottling day and bottling lines and specifically mobile bottling lines. I guess I would just start with the fact that most winemakers consider bottling day sort of the worst day in the winemaker's life. And that's because there are just so many issues and moving parts, and it seems like only things can go wrong in such a situation. But let's just start with the fact that on that day, I need to make sure everything's there at the winery, meaning the glass bottles, the capsules, the corks, and the labels. And if I've made any material change to the label, I have to have the TTB approve the label before I print it. So there's lots of things you got to pull together uh, to make the bottling day successful, let alone uh, having a good quality wine to put in the bottle. So the next part about bottling that really um, can be painful is the fact that there are so many moving parts on the bottling line that are prone to breaking down. So 
Wineries that run their own bottling lines really have their hands full. It's a major job to do it. And for somebody my size, that's very difficult to do. So wineries like Kaluna um, tend to use mobile bottling lines. And there are some great advantages to this. The fact that the line is owned by the guy in one of these large trucks that we saw today, he loves his bottling truck. He knows how all the parts work. When something breaks, he knows how to fix it. And so that is a great relief and a great alternative to actually owning and operating a bottling line. And this is so true, the efficiencies are so great that more and more wineries, even relatively large wineries, are starting to use mobile bottling lines. I mean, this is a phenomenon that's been going on for years now. So it really is a good thing and something that's um, uh, been great for us. Now, let's ask the question, are there any disadvantages to using a mobile bottling line? I might have said no, but I did read these interesting comments by the critic Antonio Galloni. Um, it might have been a couple years ago. Um, that really took me by surprise. He said that wineries that use mobile bottling lines are at a disadvantage because they're not able to call the exact date that they want to put the wine into the bottle from barrel. And the fact that when you're using a mobile bottling line, you need to plan ahead, probably much more so than if you owned a bottling line. Well, to some extent, I think this is true. Um, and it's like I say, it's an interesting point. Um, but I think it overemphasizes um, a little bit how, um, uh, you know, how much of a detriment that is to not be able to uh, just bottle on any day that you want. To have to plan ahead a little, I don't think is too problematic. The reality is, it's hard to know for sure when you want to bottle. Of course, certain vintages, they're more perhaps lighter vintages where you want to preserve the fruit and you don't want to extend barrel age too long. And those are ones that you bottle beforehand, but you tend to know that as you come up on the bottling cycle. So in any event, it's an interesting point. Um, I think to examine the point further, it would be um, even more interesting to look at, you know, uh, the fact that so many of the wineries that critics like Galoni and others would really like are indeed using bottling lines, mobile bottling lines. So that would be something to further examine. But in any event, an interesting point, but we were happy with our mobile bottling line today. It got our beautiful white wine into the bottle. We look forward to having you try this.